a fool with a plan can beat a genius with no plan. Dickens play! Dickens play! In 10 years, we can reduce our dependence. We are going to be energy independent. 163 days out of the last year that I have been on this job. I've flown thousands and thousands of miles, over 500 hours on the airplane. And I've been to 75 cities. I've had 30 town hall meetings. Please welcome T. Boone Pickens. Please join me for a warm welcome, uh, Mr. T. Boone Pickens. We kicked off the Pickens plan July the 8th. And July the 8th, gasoline was $4.11 a gallon. Four eleven. That was a break because everybody had been kind of slapped across the face. They were saying, wait a minute, I didn't have any idea I was going to pay this for gasoline. So when you showed up and said, yeah, I've got a solution to a big problem, uh, people listened to you. Hi. I just want to shake your hand. Well, boom, uh, nice to have you here in Columbus. Following you around. He's got the intellectual heft because nobody understands the problem like an oil man. And he has conviction. Conviction can take you a long way. Somebody who really believes in something. And then he has that juice that's so important, which is enthusiasm. Pickett's plan. Booyah! We have to, to uh, restore the momentum and the, the can-do uh, spirit. Uh, that uh, Boone Pickens exemplifies this. Let's let's go and let's let's do this. Pickens plan, booyah! From my perspective, the one thing that you know you gotta admire about the guy is he just tells it like it is. The only way we're going to cut foreign oil imports is to use our own resources to run our cars and trucks. He's had the resources to really to kind of drive this by being able to advertise on television and put people in touch with each other in, in, in their communities. America is closer to a real energy plan than we've been in 40 years. I'm dead serious about this. We just have to stay on the politicians to get it done. I think you'd have to be living under a rock to have not heard of the Pickens plan uh, after July 8th when he launched. You started seeing him on where he came. You started seeing him on CNN and, and CNBC in the morning. It caused us to go out and just read, well, well what is he advancing? What's the notion uh, of the plan? And as we read it, it made a lot of sense. If you're going to be against me, you're going to be for foreign oil. It's that simple because there's no other resource we have that can do the job except natural gas. And it's not for me, but it's for the next generation. Hi, my name's Linda McConnell, and these are my two sons, Benjamin and Philip. Mr. Pickens has a plan, and these two guys came out because it's all for them. I'm always moved by people coming out willing to listen to me talk and explain my concerns. Hi, Boone Pickens. Yes. My wife and I are part of the Army. Welcome That's a good deal. Out. It's goosebump time when they do that because they really are counting on you to do something now. This plan will work, but it needs your help. Join me. We can take back our energy future. He can sell water to somebody drowning. That's how good he is. He talks to people and he converts them and he converts people who never wanted to hear about a solar panel in their lives. They're with me. Can you see them? I can see them. I know they're there. I know they're with me. And these are the people that have signed up that understand the energy problem for America. They are the people that understand it has to be fixed. And they understand that they've committed to help me fix it. It's a great, great army. They know me. I know if it's it. an army, why don't we march on Washington? We're ready. I'm not an actor. I'm a participant in the business and I'm a participant in solving the problem. I and the rest of my audience would follow you out the building. I mean, the way you're talking, you're literally like, we're going to get out of that. We're, I'm literally like, sir, where do we go, sir? I'm reporting for duty. I'm a good spokesman because I've been in the business for over 50 years. So my credentials line up very well. What if we don't do anything? If you don't do anything, you'll have the same plan we've had for 40 years, which is no plan. And so I'm real. They can touch me, feel me, and know that I'm a real person. You are an oil man. So why are you encouraging people to, to find wind uh, in, their, in their future as opposed to more oil? Well, Rufi, I'm an American first. Join with me and we'll take back our energy future. I think this effort to really bridge divides in our communities, bring people together, use these more modern you know, Web 2.0 tools of, of social networking uh, to get citizen action going uh, is what the political system is going to take because without it really, you know, then the special interests rule and, and the status quo prevails. Sixty million is about what I have spent to date on this project. Have I spent it well? 
I got my money's worth. I really believe that. But I'm glad I did it when I did it because I think that it's going to do exactly what I set out to accomplish. Hell, I'm 81 years old. I mean, you know, I can make it to the finish line without doing anything much different than what I've been doing. But my kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids, they're not going to have the same standard of living that I've had unless they get the energy fixed and use American energy instead of foreign energy. The country deserves an energy plan. We deserve it, and by God, I'm going to stay in there until we get a plan.